but but Reed and PJ were the, you know, the dominant players, and and certainly uh, you know it was two against one in their life. We're playing six four, you know, at the other spot, and we actually did a pretty good job the first half. I thought of of neutralizing them to an extent, even though Reed had a good first half. But yeah, I think we just wore our guy out. Transition defense was one of your areas of focus before the game. How do you think your team did? I thought, you know, pretty good. I, th I think they they end up scoring. Uh, the biggest thing about our transition defense, it was sometimes your defense doesn't get to have a chance if the offense, you know, screws it up to the point where you can't, you know, they always have numbers coming at you. But uh, uh, I actually, I didn't think it was awful. And, and But the, the worst thing we did, we gave them like three and ones in transition. So I mean, you just give them three points if you want foul, foul. And, and we obviously didn't do that. Bill, back here. Um, you guys have had a lot of success driving the ball recently. Did you feel like that slowed your offense a little bit? That they were able to maybe cut off some of those driving lines. Yeah, you know they, they didn't they didn't pressure us, and and uh, they're good defensively. And I thought Hero was really really uh, 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 underrated defender in my eyes from what I saw. But uh, you know Hagen's controlled the game defensively from that spot. But they, they really didn't pressure us, and they really didn't have to because we didn't really force them to stretch it. And, and uh, and then when we do get in there tight, you know, you got to score over a lot of length or big guys. And so, yeah, we, we didn't do as good a job with that as what we should have. But on the flip side, you know, usually if you make nine threes for us, you know, I'm, I'm thinking we can live with that. So uh, it wasn't like, you know, if you look at it from the you know, score, and you can't ever do this. So I'm not saying that this was the difference in the game or it made it look like we played equally well. But, you know, from the field, we actually, competed with them pretty good. We just didn't get to the free throw line and we fouled so much because they controlled the glass and, and that was the difference in the game. How about Bowfield, especially Devon? I don't think it impacted the game. You know, the, the thing about it is the, 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 the two times that we had took him out though, we didn't get the ball across half court because Hagen stole it from somebody. So, you know, they kind of smelled blood a little bit whenever, uh, or he did, whenever uh, we didn't have our primary hand. Bill, how tough of an assignment is it for Diedrich to have multiple guys to deal with? Uh, yeah, it's it's tough. You know, Diedrich played well tonight. You know, he played well. He's, he, you know, he didn't make a lot of shots, but but uh, there's a reason why he didn't. Uh, but yeah, it, it's you know, we're, we're obviously very, you know, light in the butt, <laughs> to put it mildly. Uh, uh, and, and and going against big heavy bodies and, and men, you know, you're going against a a fifth-year guy, and, and, and PJ's beyond his years physically, and, and Nick is as well. Uh, and of course, EJ's going to be terrific. But, but, but the, you know, basically, we got one guy really ready to go against that, and, and you know, that's that, that that that's an awful lot to ask for from, from one guy. Bill, Bill, what did you see from a Hero that makes you say he's underrated defense? I thought he did a good job on on Vic, a really good job. I thought he denied him the ball. I thought he 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 uh, we tried to. Him a few times and do some different things, and he always seemed to get through it. I, I, I think he's a, a very active, very, uh, very good player. And when I say underrated, you guys may he may be touted as being great defensively. I don't know. I'm not here, and I don't know if you guys cover him closely and know that. But 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 the, but the reality of it is, from my vantage point, he he, he looked that role tonight. Bill Marcus has been so good for you. Did you see tonight when offensively maybe he didn't have it going? A little more well, you know, he got to the basket, of, of, you know, two or three times early and, you know, trying to score over length and, and, and they, they blocked his shot. And, you know, we're not going to play against a lot of teams. That's, that's one thing about our league. Our league has some length, but we have, they don't have length like Richards, you know, uh, uh, at least uh, since all the big guys in our league seems like they're getting hurt. Uh, uh, but but uh, yeah, he, he didn't have his best game. But still, though, we, we got to live with that. We're going to play Marcus. We got to live with him, you know, trying to trying to score over length from three or four feet, and it just didn't happen tonight. Did foul trouble affect him defensively, Marcus? No, I don't think so. Uh, uh, I don't I don't think so. I don't even think that registered with him. You know, yeah. said your your message was not the end of the world. It's not. And and and, and Cal, I'm sure, would tell his team this don't really mean anything. To, I don't know who you play on Tuesday, but you know that's actually you know a, a big game. Whoever you play on Tuesday, and of course it's for Monday or whoever it is. And for us, it's Tuesday, so we can't let fret about this. Now we came here to win. Don't get me wrong, but 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 it's not like the end of the earth. Uh, we can still accomplish what our goal team goals are, and, and uh, certainly uh, you know 
losing today doesn't, doesn't help with that, but it doesn't, it doesn't destroy it by any stretch. Bill, I know you guys play in a lot of big games, big atmospheres. I'm wondering if tonight's atmosphere made any impression on you. Yeah, it was good. I mean, it was, I mean I'm not, it's good. It's no Allen Fieldhouse, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. But, 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 the, but the reality of it is, it's a terrific atmosphere. And, and uh, you know, I, I said before the game, you know, this is why you go to Kentucky and go to Kansas. And, of course, you guys play in a ton of huge games as well. But, but it, it, it's, it's, it's terrific. And, and, uh, uh, but I, I didn't think that had anything to do with our play tonight. I thought we actually handled the, this, the atmosphere uh, pretty good. In the second half, there was about a three or four-minute stretch where it kind of got away from us. But for the most part, I think our kids, that, that, that wasn't what affected us as much as their length did. Bill, I, I get the sense every year you guys don't like this game where it is in the schedule. Can, yeah, we can, like it or don't you, like it? You do not like yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty clear. Can you appreciate, though, how it's good for college basketball? I can appreciate how good it is for the Big 12 and the SEC League as a whole. So I don't even know who won the challenge. I have no idea. Uh, uh, I don't know who won the other games. But, but uh, uh, I, I would say that, that you know, sometimes, and, and, and Cal goes this, through this all the time, I would think. Sometimes Kentucky has to do things that you may not want to do, but it's good for the whole. And I think that's kind of where we are too. It's good for the whole. I mean, and so, you know, you got to do this for your respective leagues. And, and even though I wish it could happen in December, but now with the way so many league games, you, you, you can't do that. So, uh, and, and uh, 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 I mean, there's no time slots with bowl games and all that stuff because it needs to be covered. And, you know, one day on ESPN, it was an infomercial for both leagues. So, you know, that is positive. Anything you went through tonight you think will immediately benefit you in Big 12 play going forward? Uh, you know, I, I, I hope so. I don't, I don't know right now off the top of my head. Uh, uh, you know, there was, you know, C&Q make some shots, obviously, is a bonus. And, you know, Ochai is going to be a really good player. You know, he's, you know, he's played five games now, and, and uh, you know, he's rated 353 last year, and now he's winning. We need to play well to win and run. So that you know, that's a lot to ask for the kid on the kid. But, but uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't know if, if there's anything definite that that will definitely make us better moving forward. Anything else?